This is a very special night for GSA and for this magnificent building. The Alexander Hamilton Custom House is one of the most significant buildings in GSA's national portfolio in our inventory of historic buildings. We are here not only to celebrate the 100th year of the Custom House, but also through some very good fortune. The people at Ostrom, Sylvania have selected this building for one of their relighting projects, giving this grand dame of Broadway a wonderful birthday present. I started coming here in 1985, supervising the design and construction phase and our move into the building. And I'm still in awe every day when I walk towards the building and say, I get to go to work there, it's just wonderful. And we thank Cass Gilbert for designing such a wonderful edifice and for those responsible for, Brit for making sure that it wasn't demolished. If it were destroyed, would Ghostbusters, Batman Forever, Working Girl, and a whole host of other films be the same? We don't think so. This building holds such a special place in our history and our hearts. And the magnificence of the structure itself epitomizes the importance we, we have played as an agency in the financial, economic, security, and now the anti-terrorism development of this great nation. As we look towards the beautiful murals in this amazing rotunda, we can imagine and actually almost hear the bustling maritime industry as it grew from what Bob Fischler describes on the Centennial website as an age of wooden ships and iron men to our modern container ships with electronic processing of manifests and duty payments handled by both men and women. This is a place that's animated by film and exhibitions and festivals and music and life every day. This is a place that we partner with our friends at the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council. They brought us the Grand Steps projects, open studios, all the magic of downtown through the arts. This is a neighborhood of the museums of Lower Manhattan, and I'm proud that my museum led the way to be the cultural anchor of this entire neighborhood. When we do these projects, we have three key points in mind. First of all, we want to maintain the historic integrity of these buildings so that future generations can enjoy them as we enjoy them today. Second, we look to replace older and outmoded lighting technologies with new, more energy efficient technologies. And third, we want to increase the safety in the vicinity by having providing better illumination in the neighborhood. And I think you'll see that we've been able to accomplish all of that tonight this project and one of the side benefits of the project is that we will cut the lighting energy consumption for this building by 57 percent will reduce the bill for lighting the building by almost seven thousand dollars a year and just as importantly we will reduce the emissions by 15.5 tons of co2 by the lower energy consumption that this building will enjoy so it's a triple benefit Uh, not only is this a gift to government service agencies and its tenants here in the building, but this is a gift to the city of New York. Um, our city at night just got better with the illumination of down, downtown at the end of Broadway. Um, the relighting of the Customs House not only incorporates the newest technology of electric light, it also includes current design standards, optimal illumination of three-dimensional objects, perception of how we see the building at night, the direction of light and color, and a play of light as seen in nature. The warm glow of the interior extends outward to highlight the facade openings, the overhangs, and the details. And we've had a tradition in our company of trying to give back to the local communities. Uh, we see lighting as a way of bringing out the natural treasures uh, that have made America what it is. When we saw the opportunity that Life Fair was coming back to New York, and we've done many other projects in New York, we thought wouldn't it be grand to be able to light a building such as this. So it also happens to hit uh, the 100th anniversary of the Customs House, and uh, Earth Day was just last month. 
National Historic Preservation Month is the month of May. So we were able to have a, tri a triple peat, if you will. <laughs>